Matthew, Brian and Manning. If you don't know the name already, put it in your memory bank because you're going to be hearing a lot about him over the next few years. The 18-year-old former Brixton Topcats just about to finish high school in America before starting at one of the top NCAA Division I colleges. And I'm glad to say that he's here in his home, South London, with me now. Matthew, what's going on? How are you doing? All right, first of all, uh, tell me how you got into basketball and what was it like coming up through the through the Brixton Top Cat program? Well, I've been playing since I was about three, four years old, you know, just playing um, at Brixton, getting taken down by my mom, playing with my older brother and stuff. And just playing through Brixton, you see so many good players and playing with them since I was so young. It's just been real good. As you say, you started real young and then a few years ago you had like this massive growth spurt and suddenly everyone was paying attention. Like what was that like just waking up one day and finding you were like six seven? Um, well I think it was just people starting to notice. Um I was like tall, I've always been tall for my age and um just people started to notice as like everybody got older playing juniors and not playing juniors and starting to play men's and I was still playing juniors. I think that's when everybody started to notice. Okay. Now you um, have been at high school in the States for the last few years. In terms of on the court, how, how has uh, your time been over in Connecticut? Oh, it's been real good. Um, when I first got there, I didn't get as much playing time as I thought I would because you know, I was only a sophomore. I just started. Um, I actually had a player that went to the league out of high school on my team. And then as I got older, junior and senior, my time, my playing time increased. So did my stats and uh, minutes on the court as well. You've been getting, uh, well, you got a lot of interest from Division One schools. Um, talk to me about who was uh, knocking on your door and, and what they were saying. Oh, um, I had offers from like Pittsburgh, um, Washington, where I'm going, uh, Wake Forest, Duke, Yukon, Texas. Um, I just ended up picking Washington because I like the style they play. They play more to my abilities and what I can do. Um, I don't think they have anybody in the system like me right now. And um, I just think it's going to give me the opportunity to open some eyes room. Okay, now you, obviously at Washington you'll be in the Pac-10, which is you know, renowned as being a fairly tough league. How, how do you, are you looking forward to the challenge presumably? Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. Like, it's something I've been doing all my life, so there's no, no reason to be nervous. Um, I just enjoy the challenge, really. Um, get to play against some of the best players in the world, um, especially in college basketball we in the Pac-10, so it's going to be something I'm really looking forward to. I uh, presumably you went down there and checked it out and spoke to the coach and everything. What, I mean, what was that like? Um, it was crazy because, um, actually, I've been up there twice. Um, the first time they knew I was coming on campus, like some of the kids just on campus knew I was coming on campus. Um, I'll be walking around with the coach on campus, the kids which like, what's up, Matt? What's up? You know, you're going to be a Husky, you're going to be a Husky. And then um, the second time after I committed, um, I actually went to a game and they have they have one of the craziest crowds, it's called the um, Dog Pack. And um, they were actually chanting my name as I was walking up and down the court um, with the team and stuff. So. That's crazy. So you're already becoming uh, something of a celeb and in fact, you're getting you're getting press now in 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 Slam magazine. Tell, I mean, talk, I mean that's big right there. That's that's the world's number one basketball magazine. Tell, talk to me about how that came about. Oh, actually, I just got a phone call. I was surprised myself. I actually got a phone call. Um, I just um, I think I was just in my dorm room, just um, on MSN or something with my friends, and I actually got a phone call um, saying they wanted to um, do an article on me. Um, I think it came through the wire. I'm not sure, but I think it came through the wire. But um, I just got a phone call, they spoke to my coach um, and they actually did an article over the, like an interview over the phone and then um, they sent a photographer out there like the next weekend and then set up all the pictures and stuff and then like a month later I seen the issue. That's crazy. Now you mentioned the world there, obviously the world came up through Brixton, went to a top uh, NCAA school so there are comparisons there with you. Uh, talk to me about what it was like playing with Luar Brixton and, and do you see him as kind of a role model? Yeah, definitely. Um, everyone has our comparisons between us. We're like around the same height, same way, coming from the same program. Obviously, I'm following like in his footsteps, trying to do the same thing. Obviously, not exactly doing going to the same schools, but you know, just um, trying to do what he's done basically. He's just set the path really, as if I can follow and follow through and make it the same way he did. And do you think that's a possibility? The big L? <laughs> yeah, um, everything's a possibility. Um, I just gotta keep working hard, hopefully. Um, keep doing what I have done, and if I keep improving the way I have, um, I should have a chance to make it. Okay, and finally, we were down at the um, Millennium Dome today where they were talking about this NBA game that's happening there. And a lot of it is tied in with London getting the 2012 Olympics, and they're trying to build the, uh, the profile of the sport here before then. Do you think you might be on the uh, GB team in 2012? <laughs> 
Um, hopefully, um, if I carry on, I'm hoping everything goes to plan. Um, I should play with myself, Eric Botang, Luau Deng, Pops Mensah Bonsu, Justin Robinson. We got a whole load of guys um, that I think are uh, unknown to some, even Benny's is at, at UConn right now. Um, but we should have a good team. Hopefully. Okay, well, good luck with it. But thank you for coming down and talking to us. Right, thank you.